the Saki 7th grade solar car kit comes with a set of gears along with the kit itself for creating the solar powered vehicle. We begin by taking out certain pieces we will be using and leaving the others for later. This includes dowels, sandpaper, the motor, the motor mount, tubing, velcro, two wood pieces, and the solar power unit, as well as the base plate. You'll see four wheels, two different size wheels I've taken, along with four eye hooks, which will act as the axle mount. Along with the gears, if you notice, I've taken the smallest and the third largest, along with the small red insert. To begin with, take the push pin, place four holes on the base unit. These need to be straight and parallel so your axles will run straight. Take the wood blocks on one side along with the eye hooks on the other side and mount the eye hooks through the base onto the wood. These eye hooks may get a little stiff as you put them on so in order to help turn the eye hook you may use the rod as a lever simply slide it in and rotate to tighten and notice these eye hooks are parallel now all in line so your dowel axle will go through take a pair of scissors and cut four small pieces of tubing these will act as stops for your axle to keep your wheels from sliding from side to side. Your axle dowel rod will be sanded slightly. This will allow the wheels to attach easier. After you've sanded, place your tubing on one end. It will be a little tight and slide it down about a half inch. You will fine tune this once you put your wheels in place. Slide the dowel onto the axle holder, repositioning the tubing as needed. Put the other tubing on, ensuring that the dowel axle is centered. After completing this, you'll take the larger wheels, put the rubber tire around the wheel and simply insert the wheel onto the wooden dowel axle. Push slightly, rotate, add your other wheel. Now this should be centered and should turn freely. Take your other dowel and you'll do the same thing with the smaller wheels. Again you will insert the tubing, but we are going to have to add the gear this time. So we will put one wheel on just as before, finish your tubing up, but now before we put the other wheel on we will take that larger gear and place it on the axle, sliding it down till it just about touches the base. Make sure this turns freely, then put your other wheel on. You now have your base set. If you take the small gear, place the insert in it, you'll notice that the motor already has something that was set up for using a rubber band, but we're going to use gears. Remove that, put your small gear onto the motor, ensure it turns freely, take your motor housing, Place the motor in the housing, and you'll see there's double-sided tape on the bottom of the motor mount. Before removing the paper, put your motor down, make sure that your gears do mesh correctly and everything turns freely. Place the motor in place with the double-sided tape on the base and ensure that gears turn freely. We are now ready to add the solar panel. 
if you'll notice, the solar panel will be hooked to the motor. You can hook either wire either direction. It will simply make it go in the opposite direction because it is a DC motor. Velcro will go on the back of the solar panel and on the motor housing. This will allow the panel to be tilted. Simply shine a light or take her outside and your solar powered vehicle is on its way. Good luck and see you later.